All right, I want to take a little bit more of a deep dive into this concept of yellow journalism, which we connected to uh, the start of the Spanish-American War. So uh, a couple of names uh, that uh, you need to be familiar with. Joseph Pulitzer, right, if you've ever heard of the Pulitzer Prize uh, for journalism. That's the fellow that lends his name to that prize. Uh, and then William Randolph Hearst, who uh, I talked real briefly about in the um, the intro video to the Spanish-American War. Um, these guys were both from New York, and they were both newspaper men. Uh, and basically, they didn't own just papers in New York. They owned papers all across the country. Uh, and so they're always in competition uh, with each other. They're wanting to one-up the other one. Uh, they're wanting to get... Uh, more people to buy their newspapers than the other guys' newspapers. And so they did this by creating sensational headlines. Uh, and when uh, there wasn't maybe news that was going to drive people to newspapers, uh, these guys even tried to make things news um, that, uh, that weren't news. And so uh, the idea here is that uh, war uh, is going to sell, sell newspapers. Uh, and so... Uh, maybe if they could get some kind of conflict started, uh, they could do that. That's where this idea that yellow journalism is going to actually cause the Spanish-American War. Like I said, it starts with um, the explosion of the Maine, which today is, is usually considered to be a, uh, an accident uh, that blew up. But uh, these guys were able to shape the narrative in a way uh, to blame the Spanish and then obviously get into, uh, uh, to that conflict uh, that uh, that's there. Uh, William Randolph Hearst uh, is also um, the the creator and the owner of one of the most opulent homes uh, in the United States. Out in California, uh, there's a place called the Hearst Castle. Uh, and Hearst Castle, this is a, a picture of it. I mean, it's just a, a gorgeous home. Um, I've, I've had the chance to uh, to visit full size movie theater in the house, uh, indoor outdoor pools. Um, just, uh, I mean, the height uh, of opulence uh, for uh, William Randolph Hearst is he's seeking to run, um, you know, seeking to, to shape public opinion by running these newspapers uh, all across uh, the country. Uh, as I mentioned, too, his um, story is one that is uh, used to make the movie Citizen Kane. Got him Orson Welles. Doesn't think a whole lot of William Randolph Hearst, and, and you can tell that in, um, in in the way the film comes out. Uh, but I've got a copy in the film library, and it's really good. I'm going to throw a couple of clips on there too. Um, that uh, on on the uh, YouTube playlist uh, that I'll play for the folks that are uh, there in person. Uh, that deal with uh, the conflict. But again, just this concept of yellow journalism uh, is the idea of um, writing inflammatory headlines in order to influence public opinion. Uh, and like I said before, today we would refer to that as like clickbait, um, that, uh, that people will do that on the internet or on television news uh, to try and do the same thing.